Hello and welcome back to Shrine Tutorials. Today we're going to be doing the Mayam Shrine in the Great Hyrule Forest sky. So this is actually right above the Great Hyrule Forest. Um, there's a cross like island above it with a uh, launching piston. That's where that's at. This is another one of those crystal shrines. So you're going to want to follow the crystal dot or the crystal line to where you want to go. Um, and as you can see, it's pointing to the left. Um, down to an island over there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run over to a closer section of this sky island to jump off of. As you can see, that light is going straight to a flux construct. Hooray! Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to land over on this uh, appendage island here. Um, and then we're going to go over towards it uh, from there. So, yeah, I already found that shrine. Calm down, me. All right, so we're going to drop down, and there's some uh, Zonai charges and stuff here that we're going to use at the end. Uh, real quickly before I fight this uh, flux construct, I definitely don't have enough arrows, so I'm just going to hop back to a store real quick. Um, so we'll be right back. There we go. All right, so I'm full of arrows. We're going to fight this flux construct. Uh, this is a flux construct level one. Way easier than the flux construct level three we fought in the uh, lower areas. We can tell it's a one because there's just one eye on the block here. It also it's way easier to hurt. Uh, it doesn't hop around as much either, which is a lot of fun. You can still take the thing apart if you feel like it uh, with Ultra Hand, but that's not something you have to do. Turns out, though, uh, if you do this on a Flux Construct and you just grab the head, you can pull it off and it destroys the whole thing. The whole thing falls apart. Then you can just whack it. So Flux Construct ones, way easier. Woo! Just like the Flux Construct 3, it's going to become this ball, but it's a much smaller cube, so it's actually way easier to hit the head. Go ahead and do that. It breaks apart. Whack it some more. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, it's going to come back together for just one more go here. Um, and then it's going to become the floating thing. Um, as you can see, the, 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 the head is on the bottom there, so it's way easier to see. Just run up and whack it. And there you go. You've defeated a flux construct. Number one. You're going to get a bunch of stuff again, char charges mostly, and then you get another one of those sweet cores. If you have a weapon that you have not bonded anything to, grab that construct core. That's going to add a plus ten. Now you're going to want to go grab the green crystal, and to get back up there, we're going to go back over to where we landed, and we're going to use the rockets and that floating platform to get up back to that island. All right, attach the rockets so that you're going up and over because um, you're at a diagonal from the island. So you want to get as far up and over as you can.
once you and the stone are securely attached, you can go ahead and whack it, and it should fly you up towards the island. As you can see, I didn't quite make it, but that's okay. Um, if we go to my inventory, we're going to open it up and we're going to get some items out to help us out. First thing we're going to grab is a flame emitter. And the second thing we're going to grab is a hot air balloon. All right, so you're going to take the flame emitters. Oh, there goes my hot air balloon. Oh, well. Um, you're going to take the flame emitter, set it in the center with the flame facing up, and then you're going to grab the uh, a second, um, or a first, I guess, if you didn't drop yours, um, of those balloons, and you're going to grab the balloon and attach it to the top of the flame emitter. Go ahead and activate it, and you're going to float right up to the island. Whack. And there you go. I highly recommend not detaching the stone until you're further up there. Because as you see, I'm going to run into the island. Oops. So there's going to be a few moments here where I struggle to get the stone up there, thinking I'm going to drop it. Um, but we do manage to get it up there. Uh, once you do that, of course, you're just going to take the stone and uh, place it in the shrine, and you'll gain Raru's blessing. Thanks for watching this shrine tutorial, and we'll see you at your next shrine.